Alright, let's go. Ready? Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we have 11 kids that we need to do some things with because they are going to be shipped off across the country here soon. So this here is Maverick. He was Mayo's, uh, Mayo and Everest's little buckling. He was the first guy born this year. He is so gorgeous. He is going to Oklahoma and his owners decided to name him Maverick, which I really like. Um, and they kept, you know, with the M theme, so I appreciated that as well. Really good name choice for him. He is awesome. This is one gorgeous boy. And he's so adorable and soft. He's very soft. For a bug, he's soft. No bugs are soft. That's not true, lots of bugs are soft. He's just very soft. But um, anyway, what we need to do is get them tattooed because in another week, I have to get them to the vet. So I always like to wait until their ears are, are a good enough size, but there's 11 that Derek has to take to Texas, and then they're going to be going with our transporter. The transporter we use is Amy Sporna, and she's, she's just awesome. Uh, she used to live in California and come through Arizona pretty much before she'd go to all of the other states and make her rounds. Well, now she lives in Texas, so Derek has to take these 11 goats to Texas to her, and then she'll make her rounds because she doesn't come through our state till right before she goes home. So, for them to leave, to leave our state, to cross state lines, they have to have a health certificate. Now, that's just something you get from the vet that simply says they are disease free. A lot of states have different requirements. Um, Want to know that they have a premise ID, just meaning we have for our property an ID that has been no traces of any scrapies disease has been traced back to us or our herd. So we have all of that stuff. But those are the types of things you need. Um, as far as the tattoos go, you can't have a goat that um, is registered if they're not tattooed. That is how you identify them. You read their, their tattoos um, and that will be on their paperwork. It proves that the goat belongs to those papers and that pedigree. So they all have to be tattooed because they have to be registered, because they need some sort of identifiable something to, to leave the, straight, the state lines. Now, because they're not meat goats, I don't do the ear tags, um, you know, so we register ours, and that's their way of identifying them. So, we got a big kind of a gauntlet. There's a lot of goats out there that need tattoo, but I'm only going to do the 11 today. Also, we are going to be using this leash to see how they will do on the leash. This guy, he struggles. That's really not a main concern today, but Emily wants to see if she can get them to walk on a leash today, but that's okay. So All right, so I'm gonna see if this boy, how I had mentioned to you guys before, I use the box um, for tattooing ears. This guy here is- Especially for the big ones. Yeah, he's five weeks old, just about five weeks old, and 
It's just really wide, so we'll see if this works. Twist. But when I disbud, I like I like this for tattooing. It works really well for tattooing, but it doesn't work well for disbudding because the box is just too big for those little 90s. By the time you have to disbud a, a baby, they're usually in the first week, so they're just really little and, and they don't fit in here. But by this time, that's for ah. 90s anyway, but his belly is awful round, you guys. He's just a little, little big one. Oh, barely. Let me see. Emily, it's all right. Hey, can I get down? Okay. You're really being a stinker about it. Okay, we're not going to do the box. <laughs> He's big boy. We tried, and you were so good about it. Yes, you were. All right, so I'm just going to have Emily hold him. We're going to get him tattooed. Uh, we're not necessarily going to show all of them getting tattooed today, but we have it in lots of other videos if you guys need to know how that's exactly done. He took it pretty well. One down, ten more to go. Yeah. Let's go, Mary. Good boy. Oh, he's walking really good because he's like, let's get out of here. Let's go back. That's a good guy. He's like, go, go, go. You're doing good. You got fun <laughs> Alright, these two are two of Elsa's babies. And this is our little boy we just nicknamed Swiss. He is going to Texas. And his owner decided to name him Festus, so that's pretty cute. And he really kind of looks like, like that name fits him, so that's actually really cute. I like it. And this little girl here is going to Idaho. We had been nicknaming her um, Ella anyway, but her owner wanted to name her something. Um, it, was, it was a real sweet name. I don't. I think Ella it was like, Fire. I think it was like Ellie May or something like that. Um, and then she saw a video on her, and she is a little Spitfire. So she decided. She came back. She's like, nope. She's she's got to be named Ellie Spitfire. So this little girl here is named Ellie Spitfire. And she's again, she's going to Idaho. Um, her purchaser bought one of Mayo's um, bucklings last year, so that's pretty cool. So she wanted this girl too. These guys are looking good though. You guys are looking good. You're just so cute. So, alright, two more done. Ellie definitely was a little stinker about it. But she's gonna be all right. They are all green inked up, aren't you? Yeah, all right. So uh, three all together. Yeah, nine more to go. No, eight more to go. I don't know math. <laughs> this here is Cammy's doe. She's actually one of the sweetest out there. She's just a doll. She likes to follow Derek around a lot, and she's just a doll baby. Very, very, very good temperament this little girl has, like Cammie. So, um, she's going to Michigan, and her owner named her Sweet Caroline, which is very fitting and very adorable, and also carries the C theme on, so I like it. She is just a sweetie. She did really, really good. She didn't even make a peep. But now I feel like she's like, let me go, I just want to go back. Huh. But she didn't even holler, you were so tough. Just a sweetie. All right, four done, seven more to go. So next up, we got these two little cuties, Lily's babies. Um, this little girl, the owner named Sophie Jane, and she is going to Texas. Um, she's actually going to Texas with Swiss boy. That's gonna be her boyfriend. So this boy here is Stuart Brown. They named him Stuart Brown. It's a really cute name actually for him. Um, everybody's choosing really good names. I really, really like the name choices this year by everybody. These guys are really, really adorable. She's actually a little bigger than her brother here. But just little sweeties too. A lot of the kids, you know, Spitfire's kind of a little Spitfire, but the kids are just really sweet this year. Not too many ornery ones. Oh, man. Other than the normal ornery one. Well, I mean, and then she just pooped in my box, so that's a little ornery, but... 
Okay, well, they're getting impatient. Um, so again, this is Stuart Brown. He's going to California. And you come here, girl. Come on. And this is Sophie Jane going to Texas with Swiss Boy. So they did pretty good. Now, that's two more down. This little girl managed to poop in my tattoo box also. So Everywhere. That's how she felt about this whole situation. All right, these two boys here. This, you guys will probably recognize. This is Don's little boy. He is going to be going to Michigan, and his owner named him Domino, which is adorable. And this is May's boy. His name is Braun. Uh, he is just absolutely gorgeous. I really like this book. But he's going to be um, going to Oregon. So, excited about this boy. Okay. Alright, we got these two boys done. They did really good. He was kind of a little bit spazzy, but he's doing alright. He's still so little. He's a cutie. They both are. Alright. So, three more to do. We're going to go get those ones right now. Okay, so these are the last three. <clears throat> this is Little Bit's little girl, who is just really flashy. She's just so pretty. Um, and she is, I have to look, this is Little Miss. She's going to be going to California, um, and her little boyfriend is going to be Lily's Buck. So, and then we got this little girl here. She's going to Michigan. And she is Millie May. Yeah, Millie May. And she's going to Michigan with um, Domino, which is John's buck, as well as Cammie's doe. So she gets to go with two others out of the herd. And then here is Mr. Midnight Blues. He is going to Idaho. And right, yeah, he's going to Idaho with Miss Ellie Spitfire. Gonna be, he's gonna have a spitfire of a girlfriend so <laughs> where are you going they really hate the collar and leashes but all three of these need done now and then we will be done with the tattooing for now because there's still a lot more out there that are gonna need tattooed but these ones are are the ones that need it right away all right, all of these babies are ready for their vet check um, in a week. So it's kind of kind of sad we only got a couple more weeks with them. So we'll be quite a large chunk of the babies will be gone off to their new homes in just a couple weeks. And especially this girl, she's such a sweetie. No, no, no. All right, so we're gonna go put them back. And get on some other task for sure. So, you guys ready? And they can get back to playing. Thank you guys for watching. See you again soon. Go check them.